You're gonna kill me? Are you threatening me on camera of bodily harm? Call it what you want. What do you think of this pace of travel? It's interesting. You can't get used, used to it though, it. can you? No. No, because you usually gotta get right up to crack of dawn and be hitting the street very, very early. You're enjoying it. Well, here's the thing. And I'm gonna be completely honest. We're heading back up home when it can still be in the teens at night. You're lucky if it's 40 degrees during the day. So, am I really in a rush to leave this? Where we're still with short sleeves and shorts to get up north? I told everybody we were gonna be up there on Monday, so. I'm just kind of taking my time, and I'm not killing myself to get up there early. <laughs> Besides that, we're not going to have power for a week after we get there. That brings up a good point. We won't yes. have power for a week if we're in the camper either. That's right. So, But we don't really need heat here. That's the difference. We have a buddy heater. We'll figure it out. Okay. That's why I love this one, folks. She's the eternal optimist. She is. Eternal, maybe. <laughs> too much. She broke the coffee maker, though, so we got to go to Cracker Barrel. the coffee maker. <clears throat> we got to go to Cracker Barrel How for our I coffee. How did I break the coffee maker? Don't be lying on How camera. Did I? I don't recall being in the camper. <laughs> Another reason to love Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Look at all the decorations. We got put over in the corner on this side. We never get seated over here. Bad. We've been bad. Look at this syrup. It's warm. Warm syrup. Brought to your table. Candy cakes. So I-95 goes right through Richmond, Virginia. The capital of Virginia. And there it is. But well, we're gonna cut right through it. It's the James River and there's can't see now, but there's a lot of people out there fishing. Look at how this highway comes right through the city. It is comfy. What is that, the old railroad station right there? It looks like it. That is something. headed north and there was full-size leaves on the trees <laughs> then they started getting smaller and smaller and here we are in Virginia and it's just little leaves coming up here here we are at a Virginia rest stop right off I-95 the big rigs coming in and the weather is beautiful still See what it looks like when uh, the slides are in. So one thing you want to look at is try to get a camper where you can get into the refrigerator, which is right there. You can, well, unless we can get to half of the couch, but you come up these stairs, we can get into the bathroom, and we can get in. Whoop, to the bedroom with all the slides in so you get to the sink just makes the camper a whole lot more usable when you try parked over here with the big boys you turn the pump on right We are not on I-95 anymore. We're in Virginia. We're on 17 North. 
and we're running into hills and we always like this uh, spread structure road heading up towards Winchester because you see all these beautiful farms and farm country and you see people out on motorcycles and their convertibles with the top down it's up to 79 degrees and you see people out chopping wood cleaning up their yards so people are really enjoying this spring day because it's been winter it's been a tough winter up in the north we don't consider this north where we're from this is virginia this is down south <laughs> but they still experience winter a floridian would consider this the north i guess way up in virginia but it's really pretty around here all the blossoms on the trees the buds it's been a nice ride the speed is about 50 miles an hour so it's slow enough that you can kind of look around and see all the beauty that nature is oh christina look what's in front of and ahead of us in front of us ahead of us do you see what that is it's a mountain mountain it's a wonderful how long has it been since you've seen a mountain? Uh, a real mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a while. Is this the way we gotta go? Uh, 266 to 81. This would be the way. Yeah. That's it. North. Yeah, no. yeah, we're heading straight this north. north. You can tell you're not in Florida anymore. We've always said when we come down through here that we need to come down here and spend a little time in this area. There's a lot of stuff to see and do around here and we've never done that. But it is a nice area of Virginia. This Christina. Yep. There it is. I-81 North. Woohoo! One of the last interstates before we get to the Great White North. Look at the mountains, folks. Kind of on top of the world right here. Yeah. It's a nice ride out through here. Yeah. Traffic it's is light. Strong winds knocking the sides down. Yeah. It's like they had a lot of wind. Look how pretty it is over there. Yep. Spring in Virginia. A lot of old farms. Some of them look like old plantations. To another state, Christina! Woohoo! West Virginia! <laughs> oh, you did get it. You did get Will it. Will you stop? I did get it. Let me <laughs> Just see. Just the corner. <laughs> You're putting too much pressure on me. Oh, I know. There's a lot of pressure on you're this job. You're not going to get any. You don't drive you're one just, mile the whole like, trip. You're like riding with a the thousand miles. You haven't driven at all. You're and I ask you to take a picture. It. Can't take the ready. pressure. See what I deal with, people. Yeah, I know you got it so rough. How do you like this weather? I love it. It's pretty nice here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. West Virginia. Yeah. Hey Turbo, how do you like it? Turbo, what? how do you like it? How do you like it, buddy? Are you ignoring me? <laughs> Are you ignoring me? <laughs> So this is the road we're on, and this is 81 in West Virginia, but <laughs> I'm always glad that Doug's driving, but I'm especially glad that Doug is driving right now. Oh, there's the end, oh, finally. Oh god. That was... We're wrecking. Get over, honey. Hey, Christina! You know what's going to be happening here pretty soon? watching way too much Gomer Pyle. <laughs> We're going to be crossing over that there Mason-Dixon line. You familiar with the Mason-Dixon line? <laughs> yeah. That's the line that once I cross over, see now we'd be south of that line. Now we're down in Dixie. But we cross over we're going to be north of that line. And then the way you talk is going to be totally different. 
Okay? Okay. All right. Well, you'll see we get over I'm yonder on that line. I'm sure I will. On the other side, the north side of that there line. You'll see. Mark my home river. Uh oh. And there it is, right there. That'd be Maryland. Here's that line I was telling you about. All right, up here, Christina. Here's that line. I wasn't lying. You wait, you'll see. I can't wait. There it is, right there, folks. We're heading into that there. Pennsylvania. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> We're up north of the Mason-Dixon line now. We're feeling a lot more comfortable up here. We're used to these kind of people up here. If you know what I'm saying. Kind of more we haven't been north of the Mason-Dixon line in like three months. We'll have to get acclimated. I'm sure we got it in us. Both sides of the road, beautiful old barns and farms, big old stone houses, wooden houses. Pennsylvania, about 40 miles south on 81 of Carlisle. It's a Pennsylvania style barn right there. Nice farm country around here. Rolling hills, and you got the mountains over there. Well, look where we are, Christina. Buy some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Shippensburg, is that what it's called? What a time to try to get into this parking lot. We hear you can park over here. Hey, is that the same RV that was uh, at the rest area? Probably. Oh boy. Did we miss our turn? <laughs> Can I turn it over well, there? Well, here we are at Walmart. It's a uh, tractor trailer, campers, other campers, <laughs> and us. Don't know if this will fly or not. So I've walked all out. over around here by the Walmart and I see no signs that say no overnight parking. So I think we're going to be fine. Uh, these people are going in the check. I'll ask them what they say. We'll probably go in and ask where they want us to park. I'd say that's your best so bet. You're gonna camp at Walmart. Make sure you spend some money in there. It must have been one of the managers. She was super friendly. She said they're open 24 hours. And just park over on the other side. That was the only request. So I thank her for letting people camp at their Walmart stuff. Do you have any party in your life? Christina has left the building. The sun is going down. You see that bright yellow ball in the sky? Time to get off the road. <laughs> those those other people. We were so big we were blocking them. <laughs> Turkey lands. Are you ready to go to Walmart, buddy? Ready to sleep at Walmart? Come on, let's go in the camper. You ready to go? Ready to go? Are you hungry? You want to eat? Well, I should have your little tail wagon. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're in Amish country here in Pennsylvania. And a horse and buggy is right by the camper. <laughs> we used to live in Amish country in New York. Way in the distance. See ya? There's a whole bunch of Amish in that Walmart. Nice view of the Walmart from here. And my dear is making a gourmet meal for us, sitting in the Walmart parking lot. So if you're enjoying the videos, folks, please like, share, but most importantly, subscribe. You'd be amazed what you'll see if you get off the couch. Have a great day.